And today I'm going to be showing you how to remove and replace the ignition switch on this 05 Chevy Monte Carlo. Uh, the problem I have with this car is uh, it doesn't start sometimes, you know, like one out of every five or six times it doesn't start. It's a hard start. It takes uh, you know, a couple of tries, then you got to let it sit, then try again, and it uh, usually starts after a couple of tries. Uh, it happens more often in the morning when it's cooler outside. Uh, you know, the weather has been getting warmer here, so it's been doing it less and less, but it's still, it's the problem that's there. And if I want to sell this car, <laughs> I want to, if I mention that, they're not going to buy it, so I need to fix it. And I've been doing a lot of research online, and it seems like it's a problem with the ignition switch, which is this piece right here. This is where your ignition lock cylinder goes into, back here. And these tend to wear out on these Chevys. You know, this uh, seems to be a common problem with the Monte Carlos and Palas, other Chevy mo making models around the, the same age, you know, of the same year to 05. Uh, I think it goes down all the way to 98 too so you know, if you have a GM made vehicle from 98 and up and it has an ignition switch that looks like this and you're having the same problem uh, it's probably it also I've heard that uh, sometimes you have problems with the accessories not working too when you turn the key on to the on position you're supposed to get the power to your accessories and then working in if you're having a starting issues plus problems with your accessories this seems to be a problem it's a problem that's hard to diagnose that's why I'm not doing it on camera, but uh, you know, because it's so in intermittent, you know, you can't really diagnose it properly. But uh, pretty sure this is it. So that's what I'm going to show you how to replace today. Okay, so in order to get to our ignition switch, we're going to have to remove this plastic cover that goes from here down to the other side. And also down here, there's two plastic covers down there that we need to remove. One, uh, this one, and then there's another one right by your brake pedal. And then behind these, there's also a metal kick panel or a metal cover that we'll need to remove uh, as well. Okay, but we're going to start with these. Okay, this first plastic piece that's by your brake pedal is pretty easy to remove. There's just these two tabs that you need to press on. and just get it out of the way. Okay, next to remove this, there's two seven millimeter screws that hold it in place. There's one here, and then one on that side over there. I'm gonna just remove these next. Okay, next we'll remove this uh, plastic cover for the fuse box on this side, because it attaches that cover, I think, to, the, to, the, to this piece, so we can remove it. And next, we'll just uh, pry on this, and it should pop. There we go. There's that side. And there's that side. Okay, next it's time to remove this metal kick plate. And this is also held in by uh, seven millimeter screws. One is there, and two on this side. And get this out of here. Okay, next it's time to remove this uh, plastic cover. That's for the instrument cluster panel that goes all the way from that side to to this side. On this side, it's connected by uh, one seven millimeter screw on this on here that we're going to remove. Okay, there's going to be another seven millimeter screw on this side, and you'll need to open your glove box to see it. It's that guy right there. Okay, next we need to pop this out of the out of place and remove it. There's gonna be when you pop it, there's gonna be electro electrical connections in the back. Probably here for sure. And then I don't think there'll be anything on this side, but uh one thing to do you wanna do is uh put this down so you make room more room up here. And then uh, also uh, if I can find the key, there we go. Yeah, you put your emergency parking brakes on and then uh Turn the key and put this all the way back. Okay. And that way there's more room here. And then now we just pop this out. Or at least that's the plan. That. 
was it actually. So now all we have to do is get this out without breaking it. <laughs> Sweet, it came out in one piece. Okay, next what we're gonna do is uh, remove our ignition lock cylinder, which is this piece where the key goes into from our ignition switch. Uh, the way you wanna do this is that uh, there's going to be a tab on this side, on the inside here, that you'll need to press in, and you put this in the accessory position. As you're putting it in the accessory position, when you put it in the accessory position, you can press in that tab and pull it out. Now it's gonna be nearly impossible to show it to you in there but I'll show it to you on my uh, on the new ignition switch so this is how it sits in there at the ignition switch and the tab that you'll need to press in is gonna be here and this one and you'll need to use an L shape you know you can use a Allen key or I'm gonna be using this pick you just press that in and you just pull it with the key and it comes up okay I got my pick in there now I'm just going to turn this, press it in, and pull it up. There's our ignition lock cylinder. Okay, next we'll remove these two 10 millimeter uh, bolts that hold our ignition switch in. Okay, next we just get our, push our ignition switch in from there, and then just pull down on it, and it should be, there we go, we should be able to get it out from here, like that. Now we just got to remove all these uh, connectors and our transaxle cable that's on here and this uh, this wire here. I think it's for your pass lock. But uh, yeah, it shouldn't be that hard to get these. Let's go let's just press these tabs in and pull on this and this will come out. And to get this cable out we just press on this tab here push and slide this out like this and to get these two connectors there's a tab back here for each one that you press in and push and you should be able to get them out there's that there's that one okay okay next before we put our new uh, ignition switch in we're gonna make sure they're in both in the same same position that down there, it's in the same position so your uh, ignition lock cylinder can slide in easy. And there they are. So now we just basically reconnect, reattach all the all the wires that were here to, to, to the old, from the old one to the new one. Let's start with this one, with this uh, connector. If I remember correctly, this wrapped around here. And then, there we go. Make sure this is seated all the way and clicks in, okay. Yeah, next we'll just put on this, this cable. Actually, no, that's not fair. And this should just slide in without a problem. Then the white connector. And then the black connector. That's it. Okay, basically we just get our new ignition switch in and just Get it up there and line it up with the bolt holes up there, okay? I'm just gonna start these bolts and tighten these down. Ignition lock cylinder, make sure it's still in the on position. And this tab is gonna have to go here, so that's how you put it in. This way. Then should slide in. Yep, now we're ready to test it. Only thing is, my this car is out of battery. So I'm just gonna go get the charger on this, okay? Okay, let's try this again. Oh, so close. There we go. Works perfect. Okay, so for the rest of the video, you just uh, put back whatever you took off in this, you know, the reverse order. So next we would put on that plastic piece, reconnect that connector for the for emergency flashers, then put up the, the metal kick panel, then the, the, the 
the plastic one and just put everything back in order don't force anything don't forget to put the screws that go on the sides don't you know don't break anything take your time and uh, if you're forcing it if you have to force something that means you're probably not it's not lined up correctly and uh, you just need to make some minor adjustments okay so yeah with that said hope uh, this video helps people out there if you like the video please give it a thumbs up if you have any comments or suggestions please leave them below and i'll see you next time thanks for watching